Absolutely, you know what they are highlighting and the headline comes in as from them is a time to shift uh, from select discretionary to staples. Why is that so? One, uh, what are the triggers coming in for the industry in the second half of FI23? One, uh, they are saying in the second half of FI23, they, they believe volume growth will see a recovery coming in for the staple companies given that the last year was a low base, single, low single digit volume growth is what we've seen coming in for most of the staple companies. So that is one factor. And on the other hand, for discretionaries, last time they'd seen a good recovery coming in um, in uh, last year. So there's a high base there. So maybe we could see uh, lower growth uh, coming in on the discretionary side in the second half of the year. Now, also in terms of margin recovery, they see margin recovery easing in raw material in terms of raw material price easing off as well. So they see a recovery maybe we could see coming in in the margin front for staple companies. Other than that, they see now that rural demand is setting in, which was performing weak. Now that will maybe start performing better given that we are seeing decent monsoons coming in. So that is a factor coming in at play as well. Festive season, they think, will work out well and wedding season will work out well for most of the staple companies as well. So what uh, they have done is, uh, in terms of valuations, uh, they see that, you know, for discretionary uh, companies, Warun Beverages, Campus Activewear, as well as Asian Paints and Westlife, uh, they have downgraded it from outperform to underperform. And while in staples, uh, they see an improvement coming in over there and they are keeping, eye, uh, keeping an eye out on the staple space now.